What's up, Richard Cooper? I'm here with my boy Mike Cowley, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to switch this off. There we go. And Mike is uh, one of our CSRs. Now, he's going to be the last guy that I interview in this uh, Zero to Hero segment. And he's got a really cool story. Uh, he went from basically fat to fit. So, um, just a bit of background Mike's been with me for a long time. Um, you know, I guess maybe sitting in a chair for a long time uh, probably contributed a lot to that, but you made some considerable changes to your lifestyle. Um, you know, just a bit of a background. I think you were, I don't know how many times you were in the lunchroom or especially in the chill out room, because we have a chill out room in the office, mm -hmm. and you take a nap during the day. You and there was times where you were like snoring, dude, and I thought to myself, is this guy going to make it? Like, do I have to call an ambulance? Because I was mm -hmm. really worried about you. So you started out at what exactly? Like, how much was, did you weigh? Last time I checked at my heaviest, I was about 330. 330. And I'm going to throw up a, a couple of picture slides that Mike's mm -hmm. given me of those weights. So now you've seen the picture slides. So Mike, what did you do to get down? Well, first of all, where are you at now? Now, last time I checked, which was on Friday, I'm at 220. 220, so 330 down to 220, mm -hmm. 110 pounds. Yes, sir. All right, how the F did you do it? Well, it's funny you mentioned the uh, snoring is where it kind of all snowballed. Uh, I didn't realize this until I went and saw a doctor, but I had sleep apnea, which if you don't know, means my palate actually closes on my throat and I stopped breathing. Well, I thought that was a little rough because they heard me snoring. And when I went to the doctor, it turns out I did this twice a minute. Right. So literally for 30 seconds of every minute I slept, I wasn't breathing. Had to change that. So got that looked after, got sent to a doctor to try to, more like a diet coach. And uh, started doing that, which was basically cut out the junk. No processed foods, no fast food, no chips, anything from a box, a can. If you can't pronounce the ingredients, I didn't eat it. So if it's got a TV commercial or came out of a box or had a mascot, don't touch it. Exactly. Got it. Because it's just processed, it's garbage, and it's not good for you. Got it. So it started just, you know, keeping it simple, chicken, salad. I can have steak, anything I wanted, as long as it was, you know, lean meat, nice, healthy, fresh veggies. And then, you know, the weight started shedding off, shedding off. I'm like, okay, now I can start maybe moving. And I started thinking, oh, I'm just going to go for a walk around the block. Started doing that twice a day. Yeah. And that just snowballed and snowballed, and then I started using the gym we actually have hooked up in the back. Right. And so I started hitting the weights, and ultimately, what uh, one of my favorite things to do actually for exercise now, even though it's kind of cold, can't do it right this second, is stand up paddle boarding. And that just worked completely head to toe, and is the most fun you'll ever have exercising. <laughs> so, um, talk to me about the exercise, because you know, some people try to bite off more than what they can chew, mm -hmm. and they might get into diet and exercise a little bit too hard. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have problems with your knees, walking, things like that. Mm -hmm. I know that you're an avid skier. It's not like you just said, all right, I'm gonna lose the weight, start eating properly, and skiing like crazy, or running around the block. It was, what, like the first 20, 30%, 50% of the weight before you started exercising? Like, when did you start doing that? Yeah, it was at least, I dropped about 20 to 30 pounds before I started getting into heavier exercising. But that was all diet? It was all diet. Yeah, okay. It was just, you started eating the proper stuff and you'd be amazing, or amazed how fast the weight goes. And yeah. a lot of it wasn't even just fat, it was water too. All right. Drink water, people. Tons of water. So, mm -hmm. let me ask you this question, because um, I don't want to take up more than a few more minutes, but... Mm -hmm. um, People tend to procrastinate when it comes to change. People know what the formula is to lose weight. You know, move more, eat less, mm -hmm. or move more, eat better, mm -hmm. you know, quite simply. People know what it takes to quit smoking, just mm -hmm. stop, right? People know what it takes to get out of debt. You gotta change that habit. Mm -hmm. What, like, losing weight's a big thing for a lot of people, mm -hmm. so talk to me about, um, what was the trigger, what was the habit change, what did you do to get off that, uh, like, you know, situation that you were stuck in? It was basically keep looking at that one picture I have that you guys may see of me at my heaviest and thinking to myself, I will never go back there. Awesome. Okay. And you found a lot of resources and tools online. I think you mentioned mm -hmm. a Facebook page offline to me before. Do you want to throw that out there? Yes. Yeah, so uh, some of you may have heard it's uh, called the Dr. Poon's Metabolic Diet. It's no fad. There's no gimmicks. It's just eating properly. But they had a support group, which was also very helpful with recipes and just people keeping you motivated. So if you guys have any more questions, I want any of you, send me an email, mike at totaldebtfreedom.ca. I'd be more than happy to talk your ear off about it. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot, man. No problem.